We're back today at Disneyland Paris, right here in the Disney Village. We're going to go check out the Royal Pub. We're going to see, is it super overpriced? What's the menu like? Is it as bad as what people say? Is it actually a Weatherspoons with a different name, although very expensive? We're going to find out. So I'm sure they used to say, British pub foods. Did, yeah. Yeah, they had a few complaints within 24 hours of it going live. Have a quick look at the menu before we go in. I mean, 24 euros for a burger. You got McDonald's next door, it's gonna to have to be a pretty good burger to impress me. So yeah, I think it's more based on weld food rather than British food now. <coughs> One meter of beer, that's fun. Uh, let's go inside. Yeah, so it's not a bookable restaurant, so you can just turn up, currently anyway. Put a football on the TV, certainly got an English vibe to it so far, or a British vibe. So yeah, we wasn't allowed to sit up. Oh, hello. We wasn't allowed to sit upstairs, unfortunately, because there's a private party going on, but I think usually it's open, but I do like this in the middle. Leave a comment down below if you know what this is called, because I've completely forgotten. I think it might be a vat but it's like a beer making thing, isn't it? Yeah, so I, what I'm gonna need is a pint of Foster's for like 1.99 and a, a, a mint lamb burger. Well, oh, so the burger does come with fries, yeah. yeah. I like the way it's called, it says our French fries. are 100% yeah. French. I think I'm gonna go for the 22 euro classic fish and chips. Uh, discover our traditional British recipes, it says. So we get fish and chips, so I'm assuming it's chips. Oh no, it's not though, is it? It's fries, it says it's fries. Uh, so it's battered haddock fillet, tartar sauce and fries. So that's what I'm gonna go for. I don't really fancy the burger. And to be honest, I can't pay 24 euros for a burger. I just, I just can't do it. Yeah, I mean, that is, that's definitely not. I, I don't sell. Price. Yeah, I don't sell Disney cruises, so I can't afford to do that. Yeah, I'm having twelve burgers <laughs> just myself. <laughs> so uh, yeah, for me, classic fish and chips. The Guinness, the Guinness braised beef, sounds kind of fun. A pair of teeths? Not just one tooth. There's a pair of them. Where's the beer? The Where's the beers? Oh, on yeah. the front, the beer's on the front page. Is that royal beer, is it? Um, I, I'm probably not gonna get the meter of beer because I wanna enjoy myself tonight. Draft beer though. Um, proper job IPA, maybe I'll go for that. Hey, what's this all day breakfast? The all day breakfast is 24 euros though. Um, you can eat it all day. <laughs> it's a non-stop. It's a non-stop. We were just saying actually, there should have been like a carvery in here and it shouldn't have just been a pub. And that's true, Fly Mickey's just pointed out, he doesn't think that there's a single British drink on this, uh, on this menu, so we're kind of glad it's gone from like British food to like weld foods. I think it's weld food, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go for the 1664 actually. A bottle for six euros, which is probably about £4.50 I'm guessing. So that doesn't seem too bad. And there's our beer, it's the, the Kautenberg uh, Lager, which is a German beer which is uh, a throwback, or just a, a leftover, I guess, from uh, King Ludwig's castle that used to be here before. Quick taste test. Yeah, it tastes like yeast, hops, refreshing, all good. So yeah, my fish and chips has just turned up. Uh, fish and fries, I do, I do want to stress. Tartar sauce there on the side, uh, a lemon, if a slice of lemon. If, if, that, if that really bothers anyone, <laughs> it doesn't bother me. Um, I just want to say, this was 24 euros. Fly Mickey Travel. So I have the... Um, mac and cheese? Yeah, mac, no, no, it's the imitatable. Imitatable? Oh, the imitatable, imitatable mac and cheese. Inimit whatever that word is, mac and cheese. Imitable, yeah. With a French salad uh, and hefty on the onion on top, apparently. That's the, the French way of doing it. Yeah. But, um, I mean, 
it's a nice 19 euro. So uh, between us, 24, 19, uh, we're looking at 43, two beers, I think they were seven or eight each. Uh, so 43 plus 16. Uh, so we're coming up to like, what, 60 euros, I guess? Not sure if we get an annual pass discount. Just before I start eating, I do want to say, again, we're talking 24 euros. I haven't ate anything yet. This is two fairly small pieces of fish and just a big scoop of fries. That's all it is. And uh, Fly Mickey just said his mac and cheese is cold. So just got the bill back. Uh, we've got the lager at 6.50, uh, 22 euros for the fish and chips. I said 24 earlier, got it wrong. And uh, yeah, we got a 10% discount with an Infinity Annual Pass. So overall, my meal came to 25.65, which is probably roughly about 22, uh, 22 pound back home. And they're also signed as Remy. But I think his real name might be Remy as well. So. Just left the Royal Pub at Disney Village. About to go and have some fun in the studios. Was it good? <sighs> Not really sure, to be honest. It was expensive for what it was. It certainly wasn't cheap. That meal at the end, it actually came to just over 23 pounds. So I guess 23 pounds for fish and chips and a beer doesn't seem like an awful lot of money compared to some of the fish and chip restaurants back home, Harry Ramsden's for example. Um, but it was fries, it was just McDonald's fries really, um, with two pieces of fish strips. It did seem expensive based on everything else around Disney Village, especially that all day breakfast coming in at 24 euros, where you can go to Annette's or Earl's Sandwich for the same thing for about 11 euros. So I'm not sure how they can feel that they can, they can justify or get away with that price. The beer was the best part. I'm here with Fly Mickey right now. I think he'll agree with me that the beer was definitely the best part anyway. Yeah, um, yeah, for sure. The, the, the beer was tasty. As Nick has said uh, earlier on, it was very yeasty. It was very nice. I would have said it was refreshing and, you know, know good with a meal but he went with yeasty, Very yeasty. Um, <laughs> it was hoppy and yeasty it was hoppy and yeasty but actually the beer was really nice um, uh, for European beers it was very tasty um, I did the very British thing um, my mac and cheese was cold and when the server came around and asked how the meal was I said it was fantastic thank you very much <laughs> it was a very British thing to do uh, rather than saying actually this is cold um, it did taste nice the salad was nice but was it worth 20 euros for a mac and cheese not really um, and probably somewhere I wouldn't rush back to, in all honesty. At a nice bar area, so if you didn't want to eat, you can just go sit in the bar, just like you would back home in a pub, really. And it closes at, well, tonight anyway, it closes at 10.30, and the parks don't close until after 11 o'clock, after, which is gonna be Disney Dreams tonight. Um, so yeah, probably won't go back there, might have a beer. It wasn't worth going there for food anyway. Sorry, <laughs> that's our honest opinion. What do you think? But can we give a big shout out though to Remy who works in there, who was a fabulous server, yeah. a great cast member, really knowledgeable about everything that goes on in there, um, and, and, and really was you know light humoured and, and, and yeah. you know, was, was was a great cast member. He, he's a credit to to, to the brand there, so uh, he certainly helped make the experience just that little bit nicer. Definitely, Remy was good, and my hair's going all over the place. My hair's not very good. It's very windy here in Paris, but anyway, not the best. There's better options. Anyway, until next time, let's chip.